viewers welcome to our video on introduction to accounting class 11 today in this video we will be focusing on users of accounting information qualitative characteristics of accounting objectives of accounting and branches of accounting yes our first topic will be users of accounting information in our last video we studied about the various steps to be followed in accounting by a business entity we studied about communication we studied that language accounting is the language of business it reports the financial statements to various users of accounting information today let us understand who are this accounting uh, users of accounting information and why they are interested in accounting information of business so there are two categories first we have external users and internal users external users are the users who are outside the organization and are interested in the business activities and use the accounting information of business internal users who are in the organization and look after the administrative activities so in external users we have banks and investors consumers creditors and government and in internal users we have owners managers and employees so let us first understand about internal users who are they and why they are interested in the accounting information so our first internal user is owners so owners contribute their capital in the business and thus they are exposed to maximum risk so they are always interested in the safety of their capital as the owner if i contribute my capital in a in any business i look that the business generates satisfactory revenue the gen business generates profit so that my investment my capital is safe and i make good profit out of that for this information owners refer owners use accounting information next management manage accounting information is used by management for taking various decisions so management has to take various decisions on daily basis about leasing or purchasing your fixed assets or uh, sale of fixed assets repairing assets uh, technology upgradation so uh, looking at the referring the accounting information management can take informed judgments and uh, conclusions employees employees are interested in financial statements to assess the ability of the business to pay higher wages and bonus so as an employee employee always uses the accounting information to understand the profit earned by the business and is the company uh, contributing towards pension fund uh, or can we expect any bonus or higher salary with this point of view employees also use the accounting information so these are the three internal users of accounting information so next we have external users first banks and financial institutions banks and financial institutions provide loans to business so they are interested in financial position to ensure the safety and recovery of the loan so banks always refer and always study about the financial position of a business firm before granting them any type of loan and they make sure that the business repays and they they recover their loan amount from the business when they are sure of this after studying after uh, referring to their accounting information then banks uh, pr provide or grant loans to the business so with this point of view banks are the users of accounting information investors are interested to know the earning capacity of business and safety of investor as a investor i always uh, look that whether the business is performing or not performing i should invest or not invest and this decision i can make only when i understand when i refer to their accounting information of that business with this point of view investors and potential investors look into use the accounting information next is creditors creditors provide the goods on credit so they need accounting information to ascertain the financial soundness of the firm so creditors we have purchased goods from them on credit and have promised to pay them in future so creditors before giving on credit they always understand the and ascertain the financial position financial soundness of the firm with this point of view creditors use the accounting information next government so government is a special type of uh, external user 
they use the accounting information to know about whether this business is reporting correct information to the uh, users of accounting information, whether they are timely paying all their dues with taxes and uh, uh, whether they are following all the rules and regulations. So various government needs accounting information to uh, understand the tax liability of a business entity. Next we have research, okay, researchers. So researchers use accounting information in research work like market research, business research, particular industry research. So researchers also use accounting information. Next we have consumers. Consumers use accounting information to understand the cost of production and whether the business is charging, fixing uh, correct value and giving out the quality products. With this point of view, consumers also refer to and use the accounting information. So these are few of external users, banks and financial institutions, investors, creditors, government and consumers. Okay, to summarize both internal and external users of accounting information, investors are always interested and want to know did the company generate satisfactory revenues this year. So as an investor, he go and invest in the particular business and as a creditor, he can uh, assure that the, his money can, is paid off in the later date and he can give to a business the goods on credit. Next is government agencies. Government agencies always use the accounting information to uh, understand did the company report correct information to investors whether they are paying the taxes on time. Employees. Did the company pay the pension fund? Employees are interested in the uh, accounting information to understand is the company paying any pension fund? Can I expect any bonus, higher salaries or wages? From manager's point of view, managers are the decision makers. They have to take various decisions and uh, referring to the accounting information helps them to take informed decisions, long-term decisions, helps them in controlling the and coordinating various activities of a business. Next are owners. Owner as owner always thinks that is the company making satisfactory profit? Am I generating good returns from this investing, contributing my capital into this business? Okay, the next topic for the day is qualitative characteristics of accounting. First one we have reliability. Here reliability means that accounting information should be reliable, should be free from errors and unbiased because there are various of accounting info, uh, users of accounting information. They depend upon this information and take various decisions. So the accounting information presented by the business entity must be correct, free from errors. Next is relevance. Here relevance means that accounting information should be correct accurate and uh, timely available and looking at this accounting information the user of accounting information must be in the position to understand the future events to predict the future events and also to understand the past events and they can take relevant uh, decisions out of that understandability understandability means the information provided to the financial statements must be presented in such manner that every user of accounting must understand it. There must be no confusion. Next is comparability. Able to compare various aspects of entity over a different time period and with other entities. So by using this accounting, the main characteristics of this accounting is by uh, preparing the accounting uh, financial statements, we can compare our own performance with past performances and we also can also compare uh, with other uh, companies, other entities in the market. The next topic is objectives of accounting. So the main objective of accounting is to systematic recording of financial transactions and help users to gain knowledge about the overall business. So this is done by identifying business transactions and which are in monetary value and which recording them and presenting them to various users of accounting information. Next, reporting for management, investors and creditors. So, uh, accounting provides information to investors, potential investors, managers to take decisions and this enables also, this enables the analysis of assets, liabilities and 
reporting of a financial statements identify business potential yes accounting helps us to identify helps us to ascertain profit and loss of the business to depict the financial position of the business supporting business planning and decision making with the help of systematic recording of accounting information uh, it is easy to take decisions to make business plans helps in controlling and coordinating various activities meeting legal authority requirements so with the help of uh, accounting with the proper systematic record and maintaining the books of accounts it helps us to meet various legal needs such as tax returns annual accounts these are the few objectives of accounting so last topic for the day is branches of accounting so there are three branches of accounting namely financial accounting cost accounting and management accounting let us first study about financial accounting so the process of uh, identifying recording classifying analysis communicating of uh, events and transactions uh, to various users is known as financial accounting so what is the purpose why do we prepare this financial accounting so we can determine the profit or loss of the business in a particular accounting period it is financial accounting with the help of financial accounting we can ascertain the financial position of the business and provide information to various users of accounting information next we have cost accounting so cost accounting is about to ascertain and control the cost of production it is about controlling the cost of production of manufacturing goods and to uh, ascertain the expenses and then fix the prices of particular product with the help of cost accounting we can control and reduce the cost and manage our expenses and fix the prices of the products next management accounting use of accounting information in management in planning controlling activities is known as management accounting so with the help of management accounting it management accounting assists management to take decisions to take rational decisions and to evaluate the impact of those decisions and this includes like budget analysis uh, like capital related decisions dividend decisions various decisions can be t- uh, taken with the help of management accounting use of accounting by the management to take various decisions is known as management accounting this is it for today's video we have studied various topics today if you have any doubt related to any of the topic please post your questions in our comments and we will solve them at earliest till then signing off happy learning